going on everybody? It's your boy Big Z, aka Big Rig Zeus. I said in my last video that I was going to figure out how to get my microwave into this cabinet and for educational purposes for all you drivers that have a 2011 to 2017 truck still, like I do, I'm going to show you how to do that. Hopefully we'll be able to do it with my microwave. If it doesn't work with mine, we'll know and you'll know to get a smaller microwave. This is the smallest one that I think was at Walmart. There might be one that's slightly less wide, but I think it'll fit in this cabinet so long as you can loosen up this wall right here by the bunk. Um, and it's a snug fit, but it'll fit. Uh, as long as you can loosen that up, I think we're in business. We're fixing to find out. So if, what you need for this is a T25 star bit uh, head, either a screwdriver, socket wrench, drill bit is best because it's quick and it's efficient. You don't have to struggle with it. You find you get you a T25 uh, size um, star bit, and you'll loosen up three screws along here, right here. You can see them. Let's see if I can zoom it in. No, I can't. Front facing. But there's three screws right here, and they're alongside the, the actual cabinet wall. And you can't miss them. They're, they stick out. And once you undo that, this gets pretty loosey-goosey right here. You're going to need that extra space to shove in this microwave. You're going You're going to need it. Otherwise, it will not go in here. More than likely. So I've already got that done. Now is the fun part, which is getting the microwave in there. Uh, we're fixing to find out. Everybody's gonna find out, including myself, so. Here we go. All right. Now if I can get it to fit in there, I'm going to be drilling a hole along the side of the cabinet as well. I'm gonna drill a hole along this side right here. I got big shoulders along this side here so I can feed my power cord through there and down to my power inverter. And I don't think the cord's long enough to reach, but it might. And if it doesn't, I have an extension cord that I'm going to feed to it as well. That way it all works nice and flush and pretty and all that. So the fun part is finding out whether or not the, mi the microwave's going to fit. And if it does, then I'm gonna drill a hole. I'm not gonna shove the microwave all the way in there. I just gotta see that it's gonna it's gonna clear these edges right here on the on the on the cabinet. If they can clear those edges, then it'll go in. And if it does, I'll set it to the side and drill a hole on the side of this cabinet so I can feed the power cord out. So here we go. doesn't look promising just yet, but let's just give it a little budge. It might scratch up your microwave doing this, but I swear to God it's supposed to fit. Okay. Doesn't look like it yet. That doesn't mean anything. It just means we have to do a little bit of construction here. Then, it might, then again, it might actually fit, and I just got to push a little bit harder. Let me give it another push and see. It's very possible I got the wrong size microwave. Because that's what it's looking like. You know what, it might fit if I got this off of here too. Okay, one second, where's my flashlight at? So there's a locking mechanism, hinge, whatever you want to call this right here, that the cabinet clicks in and closes. You probably have to take that off too. And I believe that is also a T25 bit. Where'd the drill go? All right. 
get that off real quick. Okay, let's give it another shot here. Oop. I don't have, I don't recommend you doing this if you have a bad back like me, but I'm bound and determined to get this done. So, and I had the spare time for once. <laughs> yeah! Yeah! Oh yeah! Holy shit, I can't believe that worked. Oh yeah! Oh, that's in there, baby. Now the real question is, can you get this back out? And I'm sorry. It definitely fits. It definitely fits. Um, I don't know if I'll be able to get it back out. If, if anything, I'm probably dedicating this microwave to this truck at this point. Because I just shoved that bitch in there. So to get it out, it would take you being able to pry back the cabinet as you're prying the microwave out. And I think I'm going to have to drill a hole with it in there. I'm just going to have to be careful not to drill into the fucking microwave. Because that ain't, that ain't coming out. But the good news is it's in there and it fucking fits. Look at that. It's in there. Now... I need to tighten down this cabinet again. I need to put the screws back in it, which I don't know where that went. Probably should have drilled the hole first. That's okay. Sometimes you work backwards when you're too determined, like I was. I gotta find the holes for the cabinet. I mean, uh, the, the screws for the cabinet, where did they go? Oh, my knees, my back, my everything. I'm getting too old for this shit. You guys know I turn 30 in February next year? Oh, now you do. Okay. Uh, yep, I'm probably going to have to crawl into the, the, the bunk here to drill the hole looks like it. That's all right. We can work with it. Just want to make sure you don't want to drill any holes in anything else. Oh, you can't even get a hand back there. This is a perfect fit, guys. Okay. I'm not going to show the rest of this video because it's going to be a long one and I might fuck up and I do not want to put that on record. <laughs> I've already fucked up not drilling the hole before putting the microwave in there, but I did show you that a microwave can fit in here, okay? It's in there. It's nice and flush. Look. Let me... It's in there. It's nice and flush. Like literally. There's no room on either side. It's it's beautiful. Um, but you do have to take these screws off with a T25 size and the hinge. You can get the hinge back on there once you get the microwave in there. That hinge will, will stop you. This thing right here. You can put that back on after you get the microwave in there. But it fits. Look at that. Screws on the side, T25, hinge, T25 right there, and it goes in like butter. But make sure, love God, make sure you drill a hole for the power cord, not like me, before you put it in the microwave. Put it in, put it in the microwave. So, that's going to do it. This is probably going to be a shorter video than 11 minutes, hopefully. 
Uh, but that is going to do it today. Uh, thanks for watching. Hope you liked this video. If you did, hit that like button. Thanks for subscribing and hitting that bell. And we'll see you guys in the next one. Peace! Oh, and one more thing. Before I forget, guys, I forgot to mention the microwave. I don't know exactly the exact microwave off the top of my head, but I know what I bought, and I going to leave a link for that microwave down in the description check out the microwave if there's a microwave with the same dimensions if not smaller on the width do get that okay anything wattage wise that's up to you and your power inverter that you have in your truck but size wise it's the one I'll link in the description or smaller that will fit in this cabinet uh, after drilling a hole down here for the power cord resulted in this Let me show one quick final thing this is a little extension cord I had to run to it thanks to alien tape sponsor me alien tape y'all shit works so good open it up dead dead microwave go with some space in front of it for putting food if, if needed or whatever it opens up just fine closes just fine it works and no it is not one o'clock in the morning that is I don't have the time set on the microwave um, after drilling out a hole my I'm not gonna show the hole but it's down there way down there below the cushions and all that but it's fed down there through here right there plugged into there two more plug-ins and the third one left on the power inverter for whatever it works so there you have it anyways thanks for watching see you guys in the next one peace